now for some sports. Barcelona football player Neymar has had $50 million worth of his assets frozen in Brazil. Last year, the Brazilian, his family and related businesses were found guilty of evading payment of $16 million in tax. He has denied any wrongdoing. Well, joining me to talk more about this is TRT World Sports correspondent Samantha Johnson. Samantha, I mean, this is a crazy story. I mean, is there a possibility that Neymar could actually go to prison now for tax evasion? Well, can you imagine one of the world's best footballers behind bars? I don't think so. I mean, in this case, he, all he has to do is pay the $16 million and he can avoid jail. But he's actually um, against the, uh, the guilty decision. So in that case, they're freezing his assets and some of those assets include um, a private jet and a yacht and some of his properties as well. Again, he has denied any wrongdoing and um, this has nothing to do with the case in Madrid as well. When well, he, actually, I was going to ask yeah. you that. He, he was in court in Madrid. Uh, is, is there any connection at all between the two cases? No, I mean, well, that is centred on a, uh, the transfer between Santos and Barcelona. This one is more domestically um, in Brazil, so they've just frozen his assets in Brazil. And uh, how has this affected his performance on the field? Well, interestingly enough, in the last five games, Barcelona have scored 18 goals and he's only scored one. Now, Messi, who's going through a similar thing, he's scored five goals while Suarez has scored nine. So, again, it's not a really good look for him and it's not a good look for Spanish football. And you get the feeling that this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to tax and uh, football clubs and football players. Uh, maybe we could use that... Uh, boat in the interim? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Samantha, really good to speak to you about that. Samantha Johnson, our sports correspondent.